Hey, thank you very much for the talk. It was very interesting. But I want to kind of zone in on this idea of individualism because you used it quite a few times um, yeah. in the talk. He did. I didn't. Well, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll make sure he knows. Yeah. But individualism, I think, yes, yeah, sure, we're all individuals and we can all be part of groups. And uh, that might be defined as, you know, collectivism when it gets to that point of, uh, you know, particular individuals um, having their views for everyone else and through that guise of collectivism. But individualism, I mean, as, as a whole, um, it's kind of like referred to quite a lot, um, libertarians especially, I'll, um, I'll admit, as this sort of like it's freedom, it's um, individual liberty, and conceptually it's a bit Mickey Mouse. I mean, in reality, I don't think it really gets to that point. I mean, we, we see that um, societies are, I mean, they, they are groups. And they may be made of individuals, but surely, surely you can see though that um, in these uh, societies they inevitably do uh, result in this hierarchical form of like well government uh, in group settings. It always delves and devolves into these hierarchies. Is it just that's the natural state of being? Maybe we reason towards groups. Maybe we reason towards collectivism. Maybe reason is not necessarily just, you know, um, individualism is right, collectivism is wrong. Maybe this is just the natural state of being. Uh, no, 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 and no. Um, <laughs> the fact that something exists it doesn't make it right, doesn't make it just, doesn't make it good. Indeed, most of human existence we have lived in political and cultural, what's a technical term, I think it's shitholes. <laughs> really, really bad places that human beings shouldn't live. And you could say, you could sit in the, in the ninth century in, uh, in, in Britain or in, uh, and say, this is life, can't expect anything better than this, and indeed everybody did. And Hobbes, right, one of your guys, said life was what? Short, brutish, and, oh, nasty, brutish, and short, something like that, right? I, I don't remember the order, right? And it was. <laughs> it was. But we are better than that. And that's what the last, you know, if you'd asked this question 300 years ago, I would have said, you know, maybe. But we've just lived through this amazing period. How much richer are we today than we were 300 years ago, on average? In terms of dollars or pounds, we're 300 times richer. But that's minimizing the effect. Because how do you measure the value of electricity? Not your electricity bill. The value of electricity is gazillion times more than your electricity bill. The uh, problem with economics is we can only measure things that have dollar signs next to them. We can't measure actually actual utility. What's the benefit of electricity or plumbing, indoor plumbing, toilets? I'm pretty, you know, that's more than just a little bit. That's more than 300 times better, right? Having the ability to flush a toilet. The iPhone? I haven't even started describing all the wonders of an iPhone. <laughs> it's not 300 times better. We're thousands of times better. And, the fact, and what's interesting is that 300 years ago, there might have been 500 million people on planet Earth. There are 8 billion of us. And generally, we're all living better. There's, you know, maybe 5 to 10 percent of the people who are not, who are still living the way that we lived 300 years ago, and that's a tragedy. But they can do better, and they will do better if they get the right ideas. If you study history, what you see is that ideas shape history, not, well, it's human nature. That's what we do. We kill each other. No, we don't. We don't have to. We do, but we don't have to. And the question always is, will we rise to the challenge? Will we exert the effort? As I said, thinking, using reason requires effort. Will we use that effort? And to do that, we have to teach people that they can do it. This is why I really hate these uh, evolutionary psychologists who tell you you're just a product of your genes and nothing you do makes any difference. But you're not. And you're not a product of your environment either. That's BS as well. Yeah, you're a little bit of a product of both, but what's the real factor that determines who you are? You. The choices you make. The free will that you have, whether you acknowledge it or not. Whether Sam Harris likes it or not. <laughs> we all have free will. We are the writers of our own script.
Now, some of us choose not to engage the free will, and then we're just products of society. And then if collectivists rise to power, we become collectivists. And if, if it's collectivists to the right, collectivists to the left, it just, we are, do what we are told. But you have the ability to write the script yourself. You have the ability to take control over your own life. And you have the ability, therefore, to be an individual. And what does individualism mean? It means that your life is valuable to you. Indeed, it's the most valuable thing you have. You don't have anything more valuable than your life. And that you don't want, because you have this mind, you don't want to be told how to live. You want to make those choices yourself. Now, people can advise you. People can recommend. You can read great books about how people have lived. And then you get to make the choice of how you live. That's what individualism means. And if you are like that, then you don't want authorities and coercion and people telling you what's true and what's not, what's right or what's wrong, what to, who to marry and who not to marry. Right? We've overcome that. And we're at, a, we're at a turning point right now, Western civilization is. It has these liberties, it's had these freedoms for a long time, at least to some extent. And we're giving them away. We're, we're throwing them in the rubbish. And we're doing it in the name of what? In the name of ancient reactionary ideologies. I mean, I love the fact that the, the I don't know, the, 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 the modern left thinks they're inventing something new. No, they're just rehashing the same old, you know, failed policies and failed ideas that have destroyed human life everywhere they've been tried in the world. And the new right is doing exactly the same thing. Rehashing the same ideas that have destroyed, you know, there's nothing new here. They're just, we're the, you know, we're trying to save civilization to the extent that we're fighting for individualism. But what else is there to fight for? So I'm not saying groups are not valuable. Of course, groups are valuable. Families are valuable. Friendship is valuable. Business, business is a group, right? We, 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 but, but what's the nature of groups like that? The nature of groups like that is the voluntary engagement. Except family, you're stuck with the parents who had you. That's the one involuntary thing, right? Uh, and hopefully they're good parents and, and that's okay. But if they're not good parents, it sucks. But so you want to maximize your voluntary interactions and to minimize the interactions that you, you can't avoid, like family, right? And even there, if your parents are lousy, don't hang out with them. <laughs> I had good parents and I moved 5,000 miles away. <laughs> Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to yourownbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and, of course, subscribe press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are ready subscribers and those of you who are ready supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.